Hi there, it's Tanya from Tutty Treasures. Hello and welcome back. Um, hello to any new subscribers. Welcome aboard. It's nice to have you here. If you want to say hello in the comments or ask me anything, then please do so. Um, you'll find all the descriptions and links and stuff in the description box. So today I am going to do my first uh, design team project for the Digital Collage Club. So Tina um, sent me a message via Instagram asking if I would like to join her design team and I had a look at um, her website and she's got an Etsy uh, shop as well which uh, sells digitals and I thought yeah why not? Um, so she's got lots and lots of digitals, there's collage sheets, lots of round and oval and square and rectangle images, um, tags and bookmarks and postcards and some junk journal kits. <clears throat> there's not a lot of kits, um, a lot of it is, is elements, uh, which that really appealed to me because I think sometimes you buy a kit and you think, oh, I wish I had a sunflower postcard or, you know, there's just something uh, that you want. So this is an ideal place that all those things are, are all together. So um, you can have a month's membership or a lifetime membership. So I will leave the link uh, to the Digital Collage Club and I will leave the link to the Etsy shop as well. So what I've cho chosen to do for my first um, project <laughs> is uh, some long notebooks um, because I'm going to be doing some bad things in the future. So I thought, well, every month if I make something, some ephemera with birds or florals i can then start putting them away for for when i'm ready to do it um i have printed these out wonky uh, i've not got my paper straight so it's not the actual uh printout so we've got four lovely these are obviously bookmarks um i also thought that you could cut that one out leave some space there and you could then fold that around and actually make it into a pocket um Obviously, you can have it as a bookmark. I'm going to make them into notepads. So, what I'm going to do first is I've just put a plain piece of card at the back because that's what I want for the back. And I thought instead of cutting it out twice, if I just pin them together, I should be able to cut them, cut them out in one. So, let's have a think. Don't need to think. Just, just cut. You know, I'm going to cut this one and then it's all going to fall apart, isn't it? Because that's where I've clipped it together. Oh. <laughs> so, it's quite tough cutting uh, two 200 GSM uh, pieces of, of card. Yeah. <laughs> well, <clears throat> it kind of worked for a minute. I'd have been better just holding them together, to be quite honest. So just follow the the line. All the way. I've got my paper trimmer out as well. I could have gone down with the paper trimmer. But once I realised that I'd actually printed them out wonky, I thought it's gonna be probably hard to um use the paper trimmer. I'm just gonna cut this one out and then the other one. I thought I'd be able to save time and doing both together, but it is quite, uh, quite tough. I think once that's inked, that one will be fine. So yeah, I'm going to join these two together and have it as a, it's like a flippy pad. And then I thought, 
when I do do the bird thing, I can have a long, tall pocket that, that that'll go in. So that's going to be that one. This one, um, I don't need um, the one behind it because I'm going to do this as a fold one. Um, I'll show you in a minute because... I obviously just don't have the words to, to explain what, what I'm doing. Um, I'm probably best at just, just showing you what I'm doing. So I'm going to cut round uh, both of them. I'm hoping that that um, part in the middle isn't going to be too wide. But I can put some lace or something uh, down it. So I'm going to fold this in half. Like so. And that's going to be a little note button that way. Not really folded it very, very well. I don't think, I don't think I'm working today. <laughs> I just think... I've mal malfunctioned, so I'm just going to try and tidy, tidy the edge up a little bit, that. that's it. But like I say, once it's inked, <laughs> you won't see the, the inf imperfections. So that's that one. And why not make a pocket out of this one, like I said. Um, so... We'll go down there. <coughs> we'll go down there. And we'll go up there. So I'm going to cut this straight straight across. Like so. I'll just get my scoreboard out. <coughs> Let me get rid of these bits. I'm going to save that big bit. Put that over there. Right, get my little scoreboard out and all I'm going to do is line, I don't know if that's in a crease is it, no, let's do it from that way, oh I can't even find the end, right, going to go down that side like so and turn it around and hopefully that will be in a in a groove so we go down like that then we'll do <coughs> excuse me do the bottom one oh, that's a bit too light oh Let's move it a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just not working today. Come on, Tanya. I don't think the light's bright enough uh, for me. I've got the right glasses on as well. <clears throat> right, I'm just going to fold that, fold that. And fold, oop, fold that. So that's fine. Then at the bottom, I'm just gonna cut it round. So I'll start there. And just bring it round just before it goes into that corner bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. If like that it's overlapping and you don't want it to overlap, then just cut cut a little bit more out. As long as it lays flat, uh, that's all that, that matters. It's it's not about it being pretty at the bottom, it's just about it laying flat and making sure that nothing uh, catches as it as it goes down. 
Oh, I'm glad I did this pocket. It's a pretty good idea. I'm gonna say I've not, I've not even thought about that. So I'm going to get my little um, one-inch circle punch. And unfortunately, I am going to take that bird's head off. Eek. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Chaffinch. I feel like I need to take him all out um, because I just don't think it's fair leaving his body there. That's it. I feel a bit better about that now. And I need to cut cut these and I'm gonna go quite deep because I'm hoping that you can't see it that's it because on there look you can see see that it's there so again cut that quite deep and that's that I'm gonna ink I think I need to go in a little bit more it's, it's sticking out funny that's it just take that a little bit of fibres off okay okay so I am going to ink it and I'm going to use vintage photo because I don't want it mega um, dark so just go go around it Oops, sorry about the table wobble I think it's the camera rather than the, the table. So I'm give it a good coating and then we can hide any little imperfections. Such a great thing in inkers. So I'll have to get myself a new little um, place where I can start putting some bird ephemera. But yeah, I thought it would be a good idea to to just make some, some bits and bobs up. So that's the pocket. Obviously I'm going to need something thinner than, you know, than the original thing. But I bet you if I just slice just a little bit off there, I could probably use another one for the actual inside but I've only printed it out out once so that's not an option for right about now still messing about with this corner that's it so we've got a pocket not bad need that don't I so I'm going to ink all around this one let's um I can quite clearly see that I've left a load of white here yeah, trying, trying to cut two pieces at once, not a good idea. <laughs> really not a good idea. I was just doing it to be lazy and to save time and it, it just didn't work, didn't pull it off. So I'm going to ink the fronts and backs of these because obviously you're going to see, see them. And I think I'm going to just do a little bit of um, script stamp on the cream papers and the back of the um, bird one just so there's you know a bit of something and I will do the same to to the double one now I've got no tea stain paper because oh that reminds me um because I haven't done any yet um I've started doing some index cards and some postcards um, and they're in the airing cupboard and I actually need to go and check on them because they've been there quite a few days. Um, I think I did them, I don't know if I did them the day after Christmas or the day after that. Um, So yeah, I hope they haven't gone too dry. Um, I can remember checking on them a couple of days ago and they were still quite wet, so hopefully they'll be fine. But yes, yeah, so I was going to, the way I was going to do it is um, tea stain all the smaller things first. So I did index cards and postcards, then I was going to do envelopes and then do the paper um, last. So I have no tea stain paper, but what I do have is I always buy, and I must go on Amazon uh, when I finish this video and order some more, 
um, I buy some vintage looking paper um, and I think I buy it in a hundred sheets and it just looks like tea stain paper. wouldn't use it all the time, it would be too expensive. It, it's not expensive but if you was doing it for every single thing that you was doing it would become expensive. But as an, I think that looks nice because um, I was thinking oh, I'm going to have to really hide that but I quite like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so that's the the paper, um, and it's, it's on both sides, and it's really nice uh, feeling paper. So as an emergency, it's great, and I've only got I don't know about ten fifteen sheets left. So I shall get some more ordered. So that's that. I'm not going to need that again. What I'm going to need now, oh, I'm losing my um, my scorer. I think it's just fun. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I think I need some sugar in my tea. I don't take sugar, but sometimes when um, I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit, um, I do have a little bit of sugar. I think that's like lost its stick now. Um yeah anyway um i'm yeah lost my train of thought right what i do need is let me just put this down why i stamp don't need that anymore let's get that that away um i've printed something out for the next uh project there's some She's got some sheets of like domino sized um little things and it's it's a mixed one so there's some i think there's two birds on it there's some mushrooms on it there's some botanical other botanicals and then there's some florals so i thought well actually that covers all bases so i can have the floral things for my bow bunny what i'm doing uh the birds obviously for the birds <laughs> surprisingly and then um the green stuff in the mushrooms can go in with my botanical stuff so it'll all get get used so i've thought of something to do with those and um next time i go on the website the collage club website um i'm gonna look what postcards and that there is because i'm i'm sure there'll be some bird uh, postcards so I shall probably do something with them um, originally I was doing blue birds because I've just got a thing about blue and birds and there's blue on all of these even on the, the chaffinch there's a little bit of blue and there's blue on these so it doesn't really matter that it's not blue blue because uh, obviously that would just look far too much Right, and I'll need to do some measuring or something, don't I? To get the um, pages ready. Oh, I need to do that. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a little bit of fabric or something um, to put over the over the top. I've not thought how I'm actually going to put the, the papers in. So, I don't know if to actually do it with some of this. Or would it be better with some, like, ribbon or something? There's no ribbon in there, so I don't know why I'm looking in there. Now, I've, I bought some of this. I only bought a sample. It was quite expensive. Well, it, I think this was about £2, and it's, well, it's probably a six by 6 um so I I bought it in, in blue and in this um and I just thought oh I can do tabs and stuff with it but um yeah I'd love some material uh like that but yeah the one what I found it was really expensive so no that's too 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 much right what am I doing let's have a think um Nah, I have got some blue lace somewhere, but I'm not feeling like it wants blue. 
what have I got in here? So, uh, this um, uncrinkled seam binding could be. What about this in this colour? That would probably be perfect. The only thing is, I'm going to cover his head, but... But there's not a lot I can do about it, is there? <laughs> really. Um, I'm going to be covering his head. So I'm just going to cut that off for that. Let's have a think about this. I don't know if that's going to be wide enough. Oh, yeah, it's just wide enough. So, yeah, I'm going to go with, with that. So I'll cut that off. Like so. I'll put that in my um, thing for clusters and, and things. Right. I don't need those. These are always good when you go in um, safer shops and things and pick some samples up. Um, got a few in green and green and brown. I could have also done it with the um, the framers tape. I'm starting to use that quite a lot. Um, I find it really handy. Right, let's get that mat back out, and we'll do we'll do some sticking. I think I'll do this one first. I'm gonna do it in like two halves. And then hopefully it will all lay nice. Should I put the pages in first? How am I going to put them in? I'm going to sew. I think I'm going to sew these. So no, I'm going to put the tape on f first. And then I'll, I'll sew them. I think I'll just do a three hole pamphlet stitch. Or, mm, see if I stapled them, I would have wanted to put the... Um, tape stuff on after so yeah I'm gonna say I've not got a needle out or anything I feel really chaotic <laughs> I hope it's not coming out as being chaotic but yeah I feel kind of zongy like I'm bouncing off the walls I probably don't need any sugar to be honest right just And then I'll put some on the back. So I think I want some beigey um, thread to sew it with. And I do have quite a lot of um, different wax threads because um, that's what I use for, for the dream catchers. Um, so yeah, I do have quite a few colours in it. I've not got millions, but... You know, I've got the basic pink, purple, green, brown, white, black. I said purple. I think that's all the colours I've, I've got. And white. I think I've said white about three times. Right. Oh, I like that. I think that seam binding is just, just the right thing. Right, I'm going to leave it to dry for a second before I try and uh, cut it cut it off. So I am going to put a bead of glue across this top, like so. And stick that over the top. Let it press down. With the art glitter glue, you do just have to give it give it a minute, but it's it's not a long minute. It's it's a small minute. So I'll we'll put that like that. Never did the back, but I suppose that's fine. Um, I'm gonna put glue on this, just so I know that all of the fabric has had some in and when I join it I'm just going to leave just just a breath it's a, a tiny breath just try and make sure that they're both 
lined up but if it's not perfect can either trim it after or I might go in with the ink just all around the edges so so it's not as noticeable I'm gonna leave that to dry <coughs> let's um, have a look at this one yeah that's fine so I'll trim this off like so should have asked Santa for some new scissors shouldn't I because I keep moaning about them but I know like the the new ones are going to get glued up but I suppose it's something that's something that we use all of the time so you know I'm used to buying a pair of scissors and I'm lasting forever before um, I did paper craft but um, yeah I think once you've got the glue on and stuff there this stuff so that's that one I really love that so what we need to do is find out oh sorry how big we want our pages so it is four and a quarter across so would do it for I think four would be fine so if we want four wide one, two, three. I think I'm going to try four pages in it and see see what that's like. So let's go. I've got just got the Fiskars um, trimmer at the side. I mean the big one. Um, so it just won't get in in shot. So we've got four wide. Yeah, that would be fine. And what have we got height wise? Ooh. Stop by the roller. Um, right, so let's go five and a half. So that's this thing, and we want five and a half. So five and a half. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that should be should be fine. Then I shall. Mm, I could do. I could do stuff with them. <laughs> um, I'll put those away. So I'm just going to fold them all up. But yeah, I think these will be cute just in, in pockets. So one. my fingertips are absolutely covered in glue and it's making it really quite difficult just to fold fold paper three yep four so that's that then that will be that. <laughs> What's that? So, yeah, I like it. So I am going to, I don't think it needs a lot of clips, but I will just clip um, that down there. And what I'm doing is using my thumb to push it right into the, the centre. And I might as well just put one there. So that one's ready to sew in. I'm just going to put that to one side for a second and I'm going to cut this off. Maybe I should have gone in. Oh, I wish I'd have left it longer. I'm still going to do that though. But yeah, if I'd have left it longer, I could have gone the full, the full way. Um, I think I'm going to try and staple these. So if I staple them, it really means that I need to leave my pages long. So the full width and fold them, fold them in half. 
So let's leave that for another minute. Are these going to be long enough? Of course they're not. As if, as if they was going to be. Right, so let's get another four. One, two, three, four. So yes, uh, Amazon when I've finished this video, I get some more ordered because I'm sure before my paper is ready, I'm going to need some. So really, I don't need a lot cutting, cutting off. Um, so let's just trim a little bit off. Let's have a look at that. So yeah, I think oh, that's over. Oh, maybe a touch, maybe a touch more. have a look at, at that yeah that would be super and how I did they say there was I can hear you all shouting out um ooh, funny <laughs> so one and a half one so if I did them just over one and three quarters is that right well there's only one way to find out <laughs> let's do it so there's one that's one and a half. That's one and three quarters. So let's try that. I've got some strips actually over here, but I don't think. I don't think. They're... Hey. Oh, why am I cutting? Why am I cutting that down? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I've been saving some uh, what strips for ages um, <coughs> for the botanicals series that is, I've just started doing so these are now going to be a little bit too long aren't they well I should imagine yeah so I've nearly got my A4s back <laughs> minus <coughs> minus the bit that, that um, I've cut off yeah oh, what a wally right. <coughs> Oh yeah, I was very surprised that um, I was speaking to uh, Carol and um, I was saying like I would had to work Boxing Day and um, yeah, you don't have Boxing Day in America. So is that just a British thing? So the way I explained it to Carol is, I don't know... It, I don't know the actual point of it, but the way that we use it is normally you would go to like one parent's house one of the days, so Christmas or um, Boxing Day, and then you would go to your in-laws uh, the other day. I mean, this is before people had to work. I don't think I'm going to be able to get in it because I can't fold it over anymore. Oh, I could a little bit, but I don't think I want to be able to fold it up and off. No, so I'm going to have to sew it in, aren't I? Okay, I don't know how. It would have been easier to do on the machine. I'm going to do that on the machine. I could do them both on the machine, couldn't I? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause for a second and move all this stuff off my desk because my machine is only there um, and I'll pull the machine forward and then you'll be able to <coughs> see me on the machine. I think I've only done it once on camera before. So <coughs> that'll be, that'll be nail biting, my <laughs> Um I'm getting pretty good at it, oh, don't say that. Um, yeah, I can go up and down. So let's move this. Right, I'm going to pause and I'll see you in a tick. Okay, we are back. So I'll just put, put it on. And what I'm going to do is get my thumb again. Make sure I push that right in. I want to do it on that side so it's neater. Um, so hopefully it will just all stay together and everything will be fine. Oh, I need to change change to a normal stitch because I normally do everything in in zigzag so I'm going to start and I'm going to re reverse so start and then I'm going to go back just so 
with porter and I'm just gonna go slow <laughs> and again I'm just gonna go back that's it lift my needle up and just cut it off like so let's make it straight again A little bit wonky, but I can always um, yeah, the back pages of like want. I think if I just press them down then it will be fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think once I've done, I'll get a clip and clip it down and it'll probably just then stay stay in place it's not far off at all so, yeah it looks quite old and stuff i really like that so again i'm gonna do um it this way i don't really want this one to be one okay i'm just gonna go back a stitch like that. And I'm trying to go on the line where it's been folded because I'm guessing that's the middle. I'll have to take this clip off because it's stopping the machine going. And I'm just going to go back and then forward. Cotton looks nice against that. I've changed my cotton uh, to a nice olive one. It's a really nice colour. So I'll fold that. Yeah, that's done fine. I think in hindsight, I might have put the tape down the middle, the framers tape, just to um just to give it a bit more strength but i think it'll be fine so that's that <laughs> let's just pop that to to one side so i think i would put um a little paper clip on that just to keep it I think if I, in fact I'm not, because what I normally do after I've made something is I put them under my tub where I keep my um, stamps and punches and things. And it's quite heavy and it seems to then uh, press press the things down. Oh, look at that daffodil. I've only just seen that. That's lovely. And this one, which I think that's going to irritate me. I think that seems to be too long, like that. Let me just ink the bottom of that. So yeah, that's loads better. I think it just needs just needs one kin about. <laughs> so we've got a pad that goes that way. We've got a little booklet that goes that way. And we've got a pocket, and that's just out of one one sheet. Um, so yeah, we could have, we could have even made a tag with them. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, like I say, I'm gonna have a look again on Tina's um, website and see what bird things I can find and what projects I can come up with. So thank you very much for joining me and thank you for t to Tina for asking me to be part of her design team and I shall see you all very soon. Bye for now.